My name is Carson Odegaard and I'm the Hunt Program Coordinator for CWA. In this how-to series, we're gonna teach you how to create an account, how to apply for a hunt, how to purchase a hunt, how to invite a guest, and add a youth to your hunt. On this video, we're gonna show you how to create an account within the Hunt Program. So the first thing you're gonna do is log on to calwaterfowl.org and click on Hunt Program Login in the upper right-hand corner. This will take you to our Aspira page, which is our Hunt Program Login. There at the bottom, you'll see a Create Account tab. You will click on that, and it will take you to a page that asks for your information. Once entered, hit Continue, and you will receive a confirmation email. Once you receive your Verify email address, click on the blue hyperlink within the email, and it will take you back to our Aspira page. On that page, you'll enter in your information, such as name, date of birth, ID, as well as if you are a military veteran or not, and physical residence as well as mailing residence. Once you are done with that, click save and your account will be created. On this how-to video, I'm gonna teach you how to apply for hunts within the hunt program. So when you log into your account, you will click the tab that says apply for hunts. You will scroll down and on the left-hand side, you'll see tabs that say waterfowl lottery hunts by region, upland hunts, veteran hunt program, deer and pig hunts, as well as CWA membership, and others will show up throughout the season as hunts are added. In this example, we have the Sacramento Valley, and we have Butte Creek Island Ranch as our hunting destination. There are four available dates to be able to select from, October 21st and October 22nd. If you'd like to select all for Group 1, you can click Select All, and it will check all boxes, just as it does with Group 2. This allows you more chances in the draw for a better chance at drawing, or if you'd like, you can select each box individually, uh, which will basically cost less money than selecting all options. Once you have hit accept, hit accept at the next page, and up in the upper right-hand corner, there will be a shopping cart that will show how many items you have, and in this, we have two. You'll click view cart and check out. There you can see you have quantity two, price 10, as each of our applications is $5. You'll hit the checkout button. Once there, you will scroll down to the bottom, make sure all of your information is correct, enter your credit card information, as well as checking both boxes, acknowledging that you are not a robot and you are able to purchase this and click pay now. In this how-to video, we're gonna teach you how to purchase a hunt that you've won. The first thing you'll do is log into your account. Once you're in your account, you'll click on view my hunt applications. You'll then select multi-selection draw results, and you'll be able to scroll down to see um, the hunt that you want, as well as your pending applications that haven't been drawn. So you'll see a pass button in case you can't make that hunt, which will pass it on to the alternate, as well as a purchase hunt group button. So we're gonna select the purchase hunt group button, and you'll see this message pop up that notifies you that you can only have one hunt per date and that you are selecting this hunt in case you have one multiple. The next page that comes up will ask you if you are a member. If you answer no, the membership will automatically be added to your cart. At the bottom, you'll have to write your initials to sign the waiver and hit submit. The next page will be your cart. You'll scroll down, hit check out. The next page will ask for your credit card information. Once you enter that information, make sure to check all of the important boxes and click pay now. In this how-to video, we will teach you how to invite a guest onto your hunt. This will take place after you've purchased your hunt. You will log back in to your account. Once you're in your account, you will now click on view my active hunts. When you click on that tab, you will scroll down and you'll see a few buttons. One of them is an invite button where you can type in your guest email and they will be sent the invite email to register. The other button will be add youth where you can add a youth that's already linked to your account or you can link youth and add them. On the right hand side, you will also see Hunter Handbook, which will take you to our Hunter Handbooks page, which will have details about your hunt. On this how to video, we're going to show you how to add or link a youth profile to your account. Hit add link profile in the upper right hand corner. You'll enter the date of birth as well as the last name. Once that is completed, you'll hit the next button. In this page, 
you will be required to enter the youth's first name as well as the parent or guardian's ID, legal ID, and please make sure that the box is checked for California. Once that number has been entered, go ahead and hit next. This will take you to one more page where it'll show no match found in the up, upper left-hand corner. You'll go down and hit create new customer record and that youth will be linked to your account. Thanks for watching. For more how-to videos, check out our YouTube as well as our website at calwaterfowl.org.